ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. You know, I sometimes wonder what we overweight folks would do without the Horlick weight control plan. It certainly does help to keep down those excess pounds. Safely, too. There's no danger in the Horlick's plan. If you haven't tried it yet, here's all you do. For lunch tomorrow, just drink a glass full of Horlick's malted milk instead of a heavy meal. That's all. Nothing to take, no exercises to do either. You simply drink the Horlick's. Now, here's why this plan is so effective. Excess weight is just a matter of too many calories. Now, that's just what a heavy meal has, too many calories. By cutting down on your lunch, you cut down on the calories, too. Hence, you cut down on your weight. That's simple enough, isn't it? Try it out for yourself. You'll not only lose weight, but you'll feel much better, too. Much more alert. That's because Horlick's malted milk is so easy to digest. You should always keep a package on hand in the pantry ready for emergencies. You can get it in either natural or chocolate flavor at your favorite druggist. And now, let's see what's happening down in Pine Ridge. You know Lum and Abner's circus is playing Belleville this week. And today, Lum and Abner and Dick Huddleston drove over from Pine Ridge to see how the show is going. <laughs> Well, as we look in on our old friends, we find them down at the circus grounds. Dick and Squire and Abner are in one of the circus wagons, which also serves the Squire's office. Listen. Well, yes, this, this makes a pretty nice office in there, Squire. Well, it uh, ain't just as nice as I'd love to have it, but traveling over the country this way, well, it's a lot handier having it right here in a wagon where I can look after things Mr. better. Mr. Squire, Mr. Squire. Yeah, uh, what is you want, Cedric? Uh, the bearded lady wants to see you over there at the sideshow tent. Her and the snake charmer's having an argument about something. Well, all right, I'll go right over there, Cedric. Well, uh, I've been inspecting some troubles from them, too. They're both in love with the sword toilet. Well, you fellas wait here, and I'll be back in just a minute. Yeah, go ahead, Squire. We wait right here for you. <laughs> this thing keeps Squire pretty busy, don't it? Yeah, he just got more than he can tend to by himself. Well, that's the reason I say, Abner. You and Lum ought to be right here with the circus. You can't stay in Pine Ridge and run it. Well, that's what I want to do, but Body couldn't jar Lum away from Pine Ridge with dynamite. Well, I don't see why he'd object to leaving. He's got Grandpappy Spirit there to look after the store, and he hasn't got a family to leave like you have. Well, tell you the truth, Dick, while he ain't come right out and said so, I, I believe he just don't want to leave Evelina. <laughs> well, yeah, that's about it, all right. Yeah, they're awful in love with one another. Wouldn't surprise me none if they never got spliced this spring. Well, I don't know, Abner. They've been going together for over three years now. <laughs> about give up hope of them ever getting married. Well, of course, you never can tell. I believe Evelina's willing if Lom could just get up north enough to ask her. No, sir, Abner, I believe you and Lum could go along with this circus. If you manage things right, well, you can make some good money out of it. Squire said a while ago that you cleared enough yesterday to pay for that city license you had to buy. Yeah, and the tent was full on the afternoon performance this afternoon, too. But Squire just can't attend to everything by himself. He's trying to look after the ticket office up there and do the ballahooing out there in front and be the ringmaster and manage the circus, too, and that's just more than one man can do. Oh, he's just going from morning till night. Well, he's a worker, I'll say that for him. He surprised me the way he's handling things. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's making us a good man. Yeah, of course, me and Lum aimed to help him when we started, but we had so much trouble with our eyes. Both had such headaches that we just never felt like doing nothing hardly. Uh, how your eyes feeling now? Oh, they're feeling a lot better now. I believe that eye specialist that you took us to this morning knows what he's doing. Well, he said your eyes would be all right in a day or two. Said if you'd wore those glasses about another week, or you'd have been blind, you and Lum and Cedric, too. Yeah, you ought to hear what Lum told that feller that sold us them spectacles. Got him cornered down there this morning and told him to get that satchel full of spectacles and get out of town before he beat the everlasting daylights out of him. Well, I don't blame him. No telling how many people have thought like that are blind. He ought to have been arrested is what he ought to have been. Well, I'm sure glad that you busted them of ours. I'd already got to where I couldn't see nothing. Well, I knew that you was mad at me at the time, but I figured you'd get over it. All right, here comes Squire and Cedric. I reckon they got the Rooka straightened out. 
<laughs> Did you get everything straightened out all right, Squire? Well, yes, I moved their quarters as far away from each other as I could put them. They'll be all right now, I think. <laughs> Reckon you have a lot of that to put up with, don't you, Squire, among the performers? Oh, yes, yes. That goes with the show business, you know, Dick. A little jealousy that way. I'm afraid this fat woman that we've got is going to give us a little trouble. I, I put a sign up over her exhibit there in the sideshow uh, saying that she's the fattest woman in the world. I believe it's kind of going to her head. She's wanting more money. Uh, where about that Lom? Did you see him anywhere? Uh, I know where he's at, Mr. Abner. <laughs> I, I seen him while I go around back of the tent looking at them white horses that bareback rider's got. <laughs> well, I told him we was going to have a meeting here in a wagon. Yeah, we've got to get started back to Pine Ridge. It's going to be dark before we can get home now. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes, uh, Cedric, uh, run tell Lom that we're waiting for him over here. Yes, I'll tell him if he's still over there. Now, Swan, that Lom act like he never saw a horse before. That's all he talked about while the show was going on this afternoon with that bareback rider. Well, that, that's a mighty nice act there, Abner. I was glad to get that. It adds a lot to the show, too. Uh, where'd you sign them up, Squire? You didn't have that act the last time I saw the show. Why, they just dropped in here the day before yesterday. It said the outfit that they'd been with had stranded and uh, wanted to join up with us, so I just hired them. Well, they've got some awful pretty horses, I'll say that. Yes, yes. We're going to have a real circus out of this head, Abner. Going to make some money, too. And I want you men to know that I'm just as interested in making a success of it as I would be if it was my own. In fact, I feel just like it belongs to me. Or, well, that is, uh, in a way. Oh. Well, I was going to say, don't forget that me and Lum is the owner. Well, now, I never meant it that way, Abner. As far as the money's concerned, well, I'd a whole lot rather that you and Lum was here to look after the financial end of it. I've just got more than I can tend to. Well, that's just what I've been telling too, Squire. Well, I know what I ain't going to travel around with the show less than Lum does, and I don't believe a body'd ever talk him into it. He just got his head set that he won't leave Pine Ridge. Yes, I know. I was talking to him this morning, Abner. He said he just won't leave there. Well, there's no reason why he can't. Yeah, here he comes now. Uh, maybe we can talk to him some more about it, and all three of us can talk him into it. Well, uh, he said the uh, main reason that he couldn't leave was on account of his store over there. Oh, sassy fast. He's got Grandpappy Spears looking after that for him. What's the matter, Lom? Didn't you see enough of the performance this afternoon? Well, sir, me and I just been back there looking over them horses the bareback riders use. There's as fine a span of horses I ever throwed eye on. Yes, they are, Lom. They're well-trained animals, too. Oh, my, yeah. Well, we've been sitting here waiting for you for over an hour, Lom. It's going to be plumb dark before we get home. Yeah, well, I just got so interested back there. It sort of slipped my mind about the meeting. <laughs> Danny seems pretty horsey. Well, I know you fellas in a hurry here, so we may as well just get right down to business. Ain't a spur or spavin on them, no. Yeah, let's get started. Get it over with. Well, now, there's several things that we've got to decide on, then. Now, the first thing is, whereabouts are we going to... Uh, when did them bareback riders join up with the circus choir? Why, uh, day before yesterday, um. Now, like I say, the first thing, then, we've got to decide is where are we going to move to next? Well, sir, that's a big improvement to the show. I could have sat there yeah, all afternoon. Where do you think we ought to move it to, Squire? Well, now, I've got a letter here from the fire department over at Charleston. I want us to bring it over there. They'll sponsor it for us to tell. She can jump from one horse to the other, and that way, and them are running is more than I can see. And, of course, it's always all like a good idea to tie up with some organization in the town that way. In the first place, won't have to pay no city license, you know. Well, what, what is the little lady's name that rides them horses, Squire? And, of course, it, uh, uh, what was it, Mom? Uh, the little lady that rides them horses, uh, what is her name again? Oh, uh, uh Zenora, I believe she called yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, Zenora, that's it. <laughs> Don't see why I can't recollect that name. Uncommonly pretty name. And yeah, what did Zenora. you start to say, Squire? Zenora. Well, I say we can go into Charleston Saturday, Saturday open our Saturday, you know, to be good for three days anyway in there, and that's right. Squire, I her and that, uh, yeah. that man, that, that other fella, uh, I mean, that fella with her, are, are they, uh, or that is, is she, uh, well, do you know if her uh, and that's him... That's her brother, Long. Oh, good, well, <laughs> yeah, she said she was his brother, or he was her, but, well, that's fine. Uh, uh, Squire, if, if she says anything to you about who is the owner of the circus, uh, I think a while ago I weren't paying no attention to what I was saying, and seemed to me like it sort of slipped out before I noticed that I told her that I was the owner by the Mom, will you hatch up? We're trying to have a meeting here. Well, before we go any further with the meeting, I'll tell you right now, I think we ought to move the circus to some other town. 
And that's what we've been talking about for five minutes. Sure it is. That's what I say. It's a good idea. Where do you think we ought to move it, Squire? Well, uh, Charleston looks like the best proposition, Lon. We've got a proposition from the American Legion over at Mount Ida, but I believe we can go in there the following week and do just as well. Uh, of course, uh, when you move the show, you're aiming on taking all the same acts you got right now, ain't you? Oh, yes, yes. It's going to be the same show as we got now, Lom. Good, good. Yeah, and Squire said that he thinks me and you ought to go along with him, too, Lom. Yeah, and the Squire's just right about it, too. Why, sure, there's just more than one man can look after, Lom. Uh, sure, sure. It's just like I told Abner. We can't run the circus and us in Pine Ridge. It's just more than Zenora, our squire, can look after. Regardless of what you fellas say, I'm going with the circus. <laughs> you don't suppose Zenora could have anything to do with Lum's sudden decision to travel with the circus? <laughs> Are you one of the millions now drinking Horlicks malted milk? Remember that here is a food drink that is beneficial for persons of all ages, infants, children, adults, the aged, and convalescent. Why? Because Horlick's malted milk is rich in the vitamins and minerals everyone needs. Vitamins and minerals that are carefully preserved by Horlick's special process of combining rich, full cream milk and the finest of wheat and malted barley. So don't run the risk of accepting an imitation which may be just a mixture of skim milk, malt powder, raw cocoa, and ordinary sugar. Always ask for Horlicks by name and avoid substitutes. You can get it, you know, in either natural or chocolate flavor. This is Carlton Brickert, speaking for Lum and Abner and Horlicks, who now bid you all good night and good health.